From a modern adversarial standpoint, enlightenment values are Luciferian values. Much like Prometheus bringing fire to mortals, which would later shape their evolution and bestow them with the power of the forge, Samael brought the knowledge of liberty. He takes the form of an adversary, an agent of evil, to serve as a force of opposition to the status quo and challenge these cosmic notions of sanctity and holiness, which are just a means of denying humans the freedom to exist as they see fit. In addition to seeing Samael in his original context, I also often equate him to certain Gnostic characters, such as Sabaoth, who was the son of the Demiurge, who rebelled against his father and was exalted by the higher spiritual intelligences for it. His name also translates to the hosts, which I find to be quite similar, again, to that pluralistic aspect of Satan as representing the whole of the infernal powers. I also equate him to Ophiomorphos, the Gnostic serpent which became the adversary and antithesis of the Demiurge. Furthermore, I actually believe Samael predates the Demiurge, or the Creator Intelligence, and has roots in the incorruptible world of the Ions and the Monad, the Source, the original supreme world of spiritual light that existed before the creator of this world designed our universe and deceived us into believing that he was the source. And as I said before, there's a reason Samael has taken the name Lucifer for himself in these modern ages. Lucifer was a Roman god, also translated as Heosphorus. He was the bringer of the morning light and the dawn and was a god associated with Venus. There's a reason the name of this seemingly unrelated Roman god became the name of the biblical enemy. Entities play a role in how they are depicted and portrayed, and I think this mix-up was no accident. Samael, in preparation for the modern age of Aquarius, the dawning of the enlightened age, took the face of Lucifer as his Promethean archetype, the light bringer to reveal to us the true nature of his adversarial role. Because the adversary is not needlessly evil. In fact, terms such as good and evil are far beyond him, and can mean a lot of different things within this context. But both darkness and light are held in the palm of his hand, as well as all the things which infinitely transcend the two. The adversarial path is the path of the few. Few people can understand it, let alone follow it. But it is the silver spoon used to stir a glass of water, revealing toxic sediments resting at the bottom that would otherwise go unnoticed. And so through the accusatory spirit of Samael, we see the true nature of religious establishments, or how one man enslaves another man, and how spirituality itself, that method that was once used to free man, has been hijacked and turned into a weapon for man's enslavement.